in the South Pacific, deep in the sub-infested zone of Japanese occupation, on a lone island apparently forgotten by the enemy. Oh! What time is it for the top? Sunset, maybe 5.30. 5.35, you're slow. This beautiful island's 100 miles long. To and Jerry make joke, island small. It may be small to you, Fuzzy, but skip it. Take it easy with those crocs now. Yes, to one. Well, how much longer do you figure you'll be on the island, Walt? Well, it's hard to tell, Fabian. Till the mole's exhausted, at least. It's a slow process. It may take weeks more, even months. Why? I don't know. The quicker you get the stuff moved out, the better I like it. Right now, I figure I'm sitting on top of a landmine or a keg of dynamite that's likely to blow up under me any minute. Uh, I don't think there's much to worry about on that score. There's not a person within 100 miles of here who knows what we're doing. Yeah, maybe so, but... Hey, how long before Jerry leaves? He knows as much about it as I do, Gabe. He can't go until it... Hey there, inside! Anybody home, or is this a holiday? Hi, Jerry. I began to think you were lost. On this island, are you kidding? Hey, you really got yourself a load this time. Find a new spot? No, baby and found it. The whole end of the island's rotting away. It'd take a long time to get it all out. Well, that's what we're here for. Mold makes penicillin. Penicillin? Maybe it's all right for you to fight a war with a test tube, but the sooner I get out of here, the better. By the way, my relief didn't show up, did he? <laughs> Not yet. Give him time. Uh, six weeks of fooling around in this pest hole is enough. No matter how important or valuable a drug is. Maybe when you got yourself all wrapped up in a foxhole and the bullets are humming like bumblebees, you'll wish you were back on this island. Not me, brother. I want to get out with some action. Come on, hero. Let's finish getting this stuff out. it in all by yourself? The little Jap brothers like to jam up the air these days. I don't like it. I like to know what's going on. Well, they have to do something. They can't win the war. Harry! Yeah. Look, Jerry, did you move any of these? No, why? Three of them are gone. What's the matter? Three of the bottles are missing. Do you know anything about it, Gabe? Me? No, you know I never touch anything in here. Don't look at me. Why don't you quiz that native of yours? He probably broke the bottles and he's afraid to admit it. He wouldn't touch them, I'm sure of that. Big bird come! Big bird! Big bird! See? Can you identify it? No, but whoever it is can't land. There's no field here. Yeah, but if it's a Jap, it can sure do a lot of damage with bombs. And you are crying for action. Maybe this is it. Come on. Okay. Come out of that tent with your hands up. All right, Minute Man. I surrender. Now put up that popcorn. Here, let me help you out of this. You're not exactly what we expected to find. Anything can happen here. Like me, for instance? Yeah, like you. There you are. Oh, my ankle. Bad? Oh, I imagine I'll live. Hey, she's fainted. Jerry, get the doc. Yeah. Hurry him up. We'll wait here. Come on, Fuzzy. Doc. Doc. There's a minor here. Come on, Doc, on your feet. You oh. got a patient. Oh, come on. Right. Tell him, come on. Oh, yeah, no, right now, come on. Well, I, I'm working on this rare bird I found. Most unusual cranial development. Besides, I... it's not a him. What? Well, what is it? It's a her, a dame, a girl. Big bird brought her. Dropped her on island. Big bird? Yeah. Oh. Is this ready? Well, of course it's ready. It's always ready. So am I. At a moment's notice to plunge out in the rain, snow, sleep. Well, plunge out into this. All right, let me get my hat. Don't 
Don't tell me I fainted. Something like that. Anything serious, Doc? No, no broken bones, no sprains. She just twisted it a little. That's a relief. And now, let's see if you can stand on it. Well, we might just as well get acquainted. I'm sorry I passed out and couldn't get around to it. Which one of you is Walt Hedges? I am. Oh, well, I'm Pat Benson. Our alma mater, Conover & Company, airmailed me out here to relieve somebody by the name of Jerry Evans. This will explain. You relieve me. That's right, if your name's Evans. Anything wrong with that? Of all the stupid tricks sending a dame to do a man's job, you can't begin to do it. And why not? Now, because before of... there's any bloodshed, why don't you meet everybody? At your feet is Doc Hadley. This is Jerry Evans. And this is Gabe Fabian, the boss of the island. Well, he means I was boss when there was a copra plantation here. Now I've got nothing to do but help the boys and try to be agreeable. You must have quite a time of it, Mr. Fabian. <laughs> it's not so bad. Well, you're all right, Doc. I assure you I'm perfectly capable of ministering to the sick and the injured. But I prefer not to. Why not? Because human beings give me a pain in the neck. If that foot bothers you, just let me know. Thanks, I will. Don't mind, Doc. He's all right when you get used to him. He's our international flavor here. He's an Australian. Come on, let's go up to the house. I guess this is it. Convoy will be passing here in a week or ten days. It'll pick me up. Well, that's what you wanted, wasn't it? Maybe. Yeah, I guess I'm ready. Well, say, Fabian, will you bring the chute? Sure. Better take your gun. All right. Come on, Doc. No, as long as you brought me this far, I think I'll go on to the village and take care of a few more cases. Suit yourself. I think I'd better rest a minute. Oh, here, sit down. You been in this part of the world before? I was born in these islands. When the Japs moved into Singapore, I was there doing research. Well. I managed to get to Australia with a few others, and then I was sent here. You any idea what we're doing here? No, I was simply told to report to you. Where we put her up? She can use your place. You can move in with me until you're ready to go. Well, I hate to put Mr. Evans out. Lady, you're putting me right off the island. And that suits me to a T. Don't give it a thought. Well, I think I can go on now. Okay. Well, this is it. Complete to the cans of kerosene under the legs of the bed to keep any crawling strangers from getting chubby during the night. Yeah, it's all yours, sister, with my blessings. I'll confess it isn't very much to offer, but we'll do all we can to make you comfortable. If you need anything, yell. If you yell loud enough, maybe even I'll hear you. <laughs> Let's go. But uh, aren't you going to tell me why I'm here? We would like to keep you in suspense. We'll tell you after dinner. We're going to eat at my place. Come over when you're ready. Thank you. Look, Jerry, I wish you hadn't shot your mouth off about the convoy. Why not? Well, that's supposed to be confidential. Are you trying to tell me that something might happen to the convoy because of what I said? Boy, you developed my case of jitters. You're the guy that ought to be getting out of here, not me. Maybe you're right. I'm always right. Well, what do you think of us by this time? Mr. Hedges. Walt is the name. You might as well get used to it. What are you doing here? Why am I here? We're producing penicillin. It's the wonder drug of the century. Yeah, it's more powerful than the sulfur drugs. And we get it from common old everyday mold that Jerry brings back from caves at the island. Penicillin? Yep. There's not another antibacterial agent in the world that can touch it when it goes to work on blood poisoning and infection. They can't produce it fast enough in the States to supply all the war fronts. That's why we're here. To date, none of the Axis powers know how to produce it, but they want to know. If they happen to come our way, well, the secret mustn't fall in their hands. So now maybe you'll understand why I said this was no job for a woman. For your benefit, Mr. Evans, a whole lot of American women came out of their kitchens when Pearl Harbor was bombed. I was one of them. Is that so? Mm hmm I happen to be sent here. If we have any trouble, I won't run away from it any more than you would. Uh, you'll do all right. What about the actual extraction of penicillin? Isn't there a formula? Let's be calling it a day, shall we? Okay by me. I'll walk Pat over to her bungalow. Be back in a minute. Good night. Good night, Bright Eyes. Pleasant dreams. Uh, 
Now, if I can just pick up that dream where I left off last night, I'm marooned in a nice, cool block of ice. Now, aren't you going to bed? I wish I could figure out what happened to those three bottles in that storeroom. Quit worrying about it. That creepy houseboy of yours probably broke them. They been report anything? No. Well, we can't do anything about it tonight anyway. Turn off the lights and go to bed. That's better. See you in the morning. All right. All right. scared me to death. What are you doing here? Well, I, I couldn't sleep. I was so excited over everything, so I, well, I thought I'd have a look around. I had no idea I'd find such a complete layout. It, it's perfect. Well, it's adequate. Gave me quite a turn to see a light on in here. Walt, if I'm to stay on after Jerry leaves, I think it's only fair to tell me what's wrong. Wrong? <laughs> Cigarette? I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong here. I could feel it the minute I landed here this afternoon. Well, I suppose you ought to know. Maybe it's nothing. Jerry doesn't seem to think so. Never mind what Jerry thinks. What's the matter? Last night I had 67 bottles of filter. This afternoon I only had 64. Well, that means... I don't know what it means. What would anybody do with this stuff? They can't move it off the island. In other words, the war may be getting closer than we think. Is that it? I hope not. Well, you want to look around a little more, or you want to wait till morning? No, I think I'll go to bed. Thanks for telling me, Walt. Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be all right. Good night. Good night.
Good morning, Miss Benson. Did you sleep all right? Oh, fair enough. Once I got used to the noises in the jungle again. And how's the ankle? Any of you seen Walt? Well, I know. He's near the bungalow or the lab. Neither one. He didn't even sleep in his bed last night. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't worry about him, you know. Juan! 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 What's the matter? Juan Walt! Juan Walt! Juan Walt's not here. Missy! Juan Walt! Him! New water! What's the matter with him? Speak up! Him look like he, he did! Look, Juan! Probably never knew what hit him. How long has he been dead? Oh, I should say sometime past midnight. This is where he wound up. A stinking little island in the South Pacific. Buried in a grave that no one will ever see. Jerry, please. He never had a chance to live and do half the things he had in his heart. Seem awfully queer around here without Walt. Yes. Doc, maybe your philosophy isn't far wrong at that. You bet it isn't. You know, Miss Benson, a long time ago when two men met, they each grabbed the other's hand to keep from getting hit over the head. <laughs> well, that quaint little custom has come down to us until now it's a gesture of friendship. Man hasn't changed very much since that day. He still lies, cheats, and kills. You never know where you stand with him. One minute he assures you he's your best friend, and the next he's running a knife through your back. For me, I prefer animals. At least they're honest, and you know what to expect from a lion or a tiger or a skunk. I wonder who shook hands with Walt last night, just before he killed him. The natives swear they had nothing to do with it. I can't find out a thing from them. You wouldn't. I'm going back with my animals. If you need me, just call. Otherwise, I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Doc. How many natives are there? About a hundred. Counting women and children. Ever have any trouble with them? Not in the least. Well, whoever did it, can't get off the island, that's a cinch. Yeah. Come on, I'll show you the lab so you get started. Yeah. I never cared much for lab work. Walt loved it. You loved him, didn't you? Well, that's a funny way to put it, but I guess it fits. We've worked together for the last five years. No one could be around Walt for that long without loving the guy. in the lab. He got away in the jungle. No sense trying to find him in the darkness. I heard a crash. Well, that's what he was after. A records. Why would anyone want the records? Apparently somebody knows you got the formula for penicillin hidden around here. Maybe you're right. Fuzzy. 
Do you remember where we said the formula would be in case anything happened to us? You and Tuan Wal say, never tell. That's right. Good boy, Fuzzy. Here's the formula. Nobody will get it now. Incidentally, burning this piece of paper is my passport to safety. How do you figure that? The formula's here. If anything happens to me, it goes with me. Oh, Gabe. Yeah? Take men and search the island from one end to the other as soon as it's daylight. Okay, sure. See if you can find any trace of a boat coming in or leaving. The village. The natives will tell you things they won't tell Fabian or me. <sighs> to think I want to go out looking for the war. When it's right here in my lap. My people not do these bad things. My people not do these bad things. Of course they didn't, Fuzzy Top. I know that. None of the natives on the island can read or write. There are three people in the lab with us tonight. One of them is behind all this. But how you find out who he is? There's an old American expression. Give a man enough rope and he'll hang himself. I'm hoping that's what'll happen here. <laughs> okay, okay. Now you better get some sleep. We might need it. Yes, Tuan. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you, Miss Benson. Is everything going okay? Why, yes, I guess so. Uh, I thought you were going to take some men and... Uh... Well, there's plenty of time for that. As a matter of fact, there's something I wanted to talk over with you before I went. You see, I found something that should be of interest to you. Oh? Yes. You never said anything about being in here before last night. Yes, that's right. Well, how do you suppose this got here? It's yours, isn't it? Why, yes, I guess so. Really, Miss Benson. Nobody else uses lipstick on this island. Well, you'll find them lying all around. I smoke a great deal. Yes, but I found this one on that ashtray, on that desk, last night. Jerry know about it? No, Pat. You see, I feel sort of partly responsible for you while you're here on the island. And when Jerry leaves, that responsibility will be all mine. And? I don't want anything bad to happen to you, that's all. So far as that cigarette butt of yours is concerned, let's forget it. Maybe somebody put it in that ashtray just to make trouble for you. Is that what you think happened? For all I know, that's all that could have happened. That's what I say. Thank you, Kate. You know, maybe I'm going to be glad I came to this island after all. Why? Look, Pat, why can't we have dinner together some night at my house? Juan! Juan! Now what's happened? Juan! Juan! Well, what is it? Man come out of sea. Man like seagull. Him alone. Beach. Juan, see? Bring him in. Yes, Juan. His name's Norman Fosmer, foreign-born, naturalized American. He's on an American freighter and a convoy bound for Australia. You don't suppose that was our convoy, do you? Well, I thought you said it wasn't due for a week. No, that's what puzzles me. The little subs can't get this far, but a large sub might be able to make it from one of their bases without refueling. Bush doctor not back from village yet. Oh, no, I can't. All out, talk about. You're all right, old timer. Just relax. I see it. I see it. Torpedo, two points off starboard quarter. Look out! Take it easy, uh -huh. fella. My name's Evans. 
We're on a small island in the South Pacific. Evidently, it was torpedoed. What are, what are you talking about? Aren't we in Seattle? Oh, I can't, I, I can't remember. Somebody said we, we sailed tonight. You did sail. Your ship was sunk. No, 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 we're, we're due to sail tonight. He's out of his head. It's more like amnesia, loss of memory. I'd like to know if his ship was torpedoed near here. If it was, that means there's a wolf pack of Jap subs sneaking around. A convoy will walk right into him. Will you stop jumping at conclusions? I'll see if I can get Doc. Stay with him, will you, Pat? Uh -huh. I will ask you a few questions. I want you to please try and answer them. Is your home in Seattle? Tell me. Seattle? Yes. Where did you live in Seattle? I don't remember. Were you born there? The torpedo. The torpedo. Look, I'm just going to hit! Was it cold when you left Seattle? Was it? <laughs> no, 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 I don't remember. Let him alone. Can't you see he's out of his head? He can't answer your questions. I'm just trying to establish a contact with something you can remember. If I can do that, Look here, I'm not going to stand by and watch you torture a sick man. Well, you stand by and do nothing. I'll handle this case the way I see fit, and you keep out of it. Listen, if you don't treat him decently, I'll throw you out that door, and I'll keep you out. As long as there's a patient in this house, I'm in full charge. And if there's any throwing out to be done, I'll do it. Now, get out. Why? Get out! Well, I, I guess we're all more or less on edge. I'm sorry I had to do that. Uh, by the way, uh, are you against me, too? No, I... I'll help you. Good. Well, get me some hot water. It's an informal gathering because things are coming to a head and coming fast. Fosma's ship must have been torpedoed near here. Why? Because he's too well fed and not sunburned enough to have been on the water long. That means that we may have visitors soon. And I want to know just how we stand before they get here. What do you mean, how we stand? Someone on this island, one of us in this room, is behind all the trouble we're having here and is directly responsible for Walt's death. I don't know which one it is yet, but believe me, before it's over, I will. Meanwhile, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Doc. Yes? How soon can you get Fosmer on his feet? He's an American and we need him. Well, I'll, I'll do the best I can. All right, hurry it up. Jerry. Yeah? Surely you don't think that I... Had anything to do with it? Yes. Things started to happen pretty fast after you got here, didn't they? The shoe fits. Wear it. Oh, uh... By the way, I'm not afraid to tell you all this because I'm the guy that knows the formula. Remember? I don't like those cracks of his. And the way he talked to you, Pat. What's the matter, Fabian? Getting a little too close for comfort? Uh... Lady. First lady, put on nice dress. Go eat with the wine, Fabian. No idea how a pretty girl brightens up this island. Don't spoil me. Remember, I'm going to be here a long time. I hope so. More coffee? No, I'm going to do everything I can to make your stay enjoyable. How about a cigarette? I haven't got your brand. Oh, don't worry about him. Poor fellow's too sick to understand anything. 
Thank you. Tell me something about yourself. How long do you work with this company? Oh, a little over three years. Three years? Well, you must have known everything about Penicillin before you came here. Well, a little. As a matter of fact... What's the matter? What am I? Landing on the island. They're coming in now. How do you know? A native told Fabian. They talked in dialect, but I understood them. Where's Gabe now? He left for the native. He sends you over here? No, he doesn't even know I understood them. You and Fabian seem to be getting along pretty well. Why don't you stick by him? Why do you come to me with all this? Now, wait a minute. Last night you made a crack that you thought maybe I was mixed up in Walt's death. Tonight I come to you and tell you that men are landing on the island, and you seem to believe I'm mixed up in that too. Maybe. Why? Why? Because you were in the lab the night Walt was murdered. I know you were because I saw your cigarette stub. I also saw Fabian sneak it out of the ashtray. So that's it. That's it. What were you doing there? Well, after you went to bed, I came over to the lab to see what it was like. Walt saw my light and came over too. Go on. He told me about the missing bottles of filtrate and a few other things. Then what? That's all. I said good night and went back to my bungalow. I heard a weird cry in the jungle, and a few moments later, I saw Walt run down the trail. And you ran after him? I did nothing of the kind. It's the last I ever saw of him. Well, if it was as simple as all that, why didn't you tell me this before? You think you've got everything figured out, don't you? Well, suppose you listen to me for a change. I didn't tell you because I wasn't sure you weren't mixed up in Walt's death. Why should I tell you any more than I would Doc or Fabian? Me? Me mixed up? Certainly. I heard Walt call you down for blabbing about the convoy. Now, how does the shoe fit on your foot? Why did you change your mind and come to me with all this? Because Gabe made a plan for me and I followed it up to see what I could find out. And maybe it'll pay off. You can check that easy enough. You go to your house and stay there. I'm going with you. No, you're not. If you go without me, I'll follow you. Okay, sister, it's your funeral. At least this way we can check up on each other. What's that? It's a cry I told you about. Don't you know what it is? No, I never heard it before. It's the one Walt heard the night he ran out into the jungle. He never came back. Come on, we'll soon see what it is. that use those contractions. Now I know what happened to Walt. This is the spot where he was murdered. He must have seen the same thing we're seeing now. You can't. It's only a two-man job. But isn't there some other way? If there is, I can't think of it now. I go my own.
dead. Forms on the right. Come up slowly with your hands up. Move! Come on, Fabian. See if they have any guns. If they have, throw them on the sand. Don't get between us. Come up behind them. Now go up and get Doc, and bring some rope. Hurry it up. Well, well, what's going on here? Looks as though I've been missing something. Why, oh, Jerry, he's all right. Well, of course I'm all right. I've never been any different. And we'll talk about that later. But right now, you're just about the most welcome sight I've ever seen. Till you showed up, I had a rattlesnake by the tail. These Japs landed in answer to a signal from Fabian. I was lucky enough to capture them. But until you showed up, I didn't know what to do with it. Your him. gun. Drop it. Drop it! Why, you... Take him up to the house. I'm sorry this had to happen, Fräulein. Go on. Fuzzy Top was disposed of for two reasons. First, he tried to interfere, and second, I wanted the other natives to know that I mean business. He was left here until you regained consciousness, so you would know I mean business with you. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Captain von Spenger, the German Navy. And the Jap Navy, too? I came here because Fabian was incapable of securing the information I want. I'll tell you what information I want, and my method of getting it will be decided upon by you. I want the formula for the extraction of penicillin from mole filtrate. There is no formula. Fabian knows that. Not in writing, but you carry it in your head and I want it. Try and get it. Let me beat it out of him. <laughs> Fraulein, you'll go into the next room. I'm sure your friend would be embarrassed to have you present when he's being questioned. Better do what he says. But I... Go on. As much as I regret it, you will have to tell me eventually. If you're a Nazi officer, what are you doing here? I'm on detached duty with the Japanese undersea fleet. Are you going to tell me the formula? I'm sorry, but you... You leave me no choice. Tell me. No. Oh. Make him stop. Oh. I'll tell him the formula. You know this formula? Of course I know it. Go tell Fosman if he lets Jerry alone. I'll give it to him. What is it? American lady say she tell formula if you let boy alone.
I thought you didn't know this formula. What do you think I was doing in the lab that night? I just had time to put the formula back in the bottle when Walt came in. And you're willing to give it to me if I stop questioning him? Give me pencil and paper. Tell you what you want to know. On time. You better not try any tricks. Get him a pencil and paper. You're at liberty to go. Jerry. the only thing I could do to make them stop. I gave them the formula. You gave? But you didn't even know it. I couldn't stand them torturing you any longer. It's lovely. It's just great. Everything's gonna be fine now. What do you mean? Congratulate you both in trying to perform a very stupid trick. You both, 386 calling, sir. What do they want? The executive officer on your submarine reports. He has been trying to get you by blink of light. He has a very important message. Well, never mind them. What is it? An Allied convoy is proceeding at slow speed and will pass this island about dawn. The U boat wishes to come into the cove for refueling at once. Refueling? All right, the time for games has passed. The two formulas you gave me are not the same. Now, which is the right one? Mine is. Why don't you guess, Fosma? It's lots of fun. Just like the quiz shows back in the States. Why didn't you ever hear of them? I'll give you both just five minutes to make up your minds. Uh, why bother with them? I've got the right formula. What's that? I said I have the correct formula. It's a bit of a surprise to you, isn't it, young fellow? You didn't think I knew it, did you? Well, don't ask me how I got it. But this old brain is good for something else besides putting skeletons together. Why do you want to give it to me? I didn't say I would, yet. But I will on one condition. That you take me with you to Tokyo or Berlin to demonstrate it, me alone. And I can take my place in the world, a place that should have been mine long ago. That's what I've been dreaming about all these years in the jungle. Oh, you all thought I was a batty old man with a grudge against the world, didn't you? Well, I was for a time. And I found out what you were doing here. Penicillin. That was my chance. I knew it would come someday. And now it's here. Do you hear that? It's here. How do I know you won't trick me too? Well, you've got enough common intelligence to know that I wouldn't be willing to go with you if I were trying to trick you. What is your answer? I'll need you a little longer. And your usefulness is over. Take him out. Jerry! Go out front. Maybe I'll take the rear. Head him off. If he gets to the jungle, we won't find him till daylight. Come on. Shh. Don't look at me. 
shouldn't have come back here. Don't worry. It's safe for a couple of minutes, anyhow. Bring me those revolvers. Jeff's took them. A grenade will have to do, then. Jerry, if only Doc hadn't given them the right formula. He didn't. Fosner doesn't know it. But he's carrying around the third phony formula with him right now. But I... I played it up when Fosmer showed me that paper. Doc's all right. Don't you forget it. And so are you, darling. We've got to find some way to warn the convoy. Won't do much good to warn them now. I've got to do something about that U-boat. It's coming in to refuel. If I can break that up, all the little subs will be lying around like a bunch of dead fish within a radius of a couple of miles. Without the mother boat, they're helpless. I don't see how you can do that. Shh. Don't look up. Maybe in the morning, beat the bush and find him. Okay. You take your little sub and clear out so the U-boat can come in and refuel from the sunken tanks. Where are the tanks? In the middle of the cove. They're marked by a small white buoy. The fuel line's attached to that. You stay on shore when the cove is clear? Signal the U-boat to come in. I don't know. It's not very safe for boats to come in there at night. It's too shallow. How much water's over the tanks? About three fathoms. That's enough. Go ahead. All right, Fro. This is all you'll need. All right, we'll send men back in the U-boat to get it. Are we ready? Yes, my friend. We are quite ready. Well, what are you... She isn't going with us, is she? That's exactly what she's going to do. Well, what do you want her for? I gave you the formula. Our arrangement was for me to go alone. Your childish attempts at being clever are very stupid. I don't understand. I don't believe that formula you gave me is any more correct than the others. Time's getting short. We've got to go out and attack that convoy. Miss Benson is going aboard the U-boat with me as a hostage. Perhaps by the time we return, you and young Jerry Evans will have decided how useless it is to try to fool me. What happens to her depends solely upon you two. Now think it over. Why, you dirty... You're right, Fräulein. You must be alive to talk to Jerry. What a romantic thing to do, Doctor. All to save the lives of two younger people who you think might be in love. Too bad I had to rewrite the ending of your dream. It would have been prettier the other way. Go ahead. I'll wait here. You signal me as soon as you get clear.
Fabian. Fabian! Fabian! You boats out there. Come on, McGuire. Time to see the fireworks. Fireworks? Sure, there are fuel tanks at the bottom of the cove. Our sub ties up and the oil's pumped out. What? Yeah. Did you ever hear of booby trap, Doc? I fixed a fuel line with a hand grenade. When they take the cap off to get the oil out, it'll pull the pin out of the grenade. The grenade slides down the line and explodes in the tanks. And up it goes, and the sub goes with it. Cherry, you've got to stop them. What do you mean? Hosmer's taken Pat out to the sub. He knows I gave him a bad formula. He's going to hold her as a hostage until he gets the right one. They're liable to be blown up any minute. Well, we've, we've got to do something. You've always done a lot of swimming. Now, let's say it pay off. Fabian aboard? No, our Captain. Did he signal you from shore? No, sir. We have much time. Fuel lines in that buoy. Start taking on fuel. Make fast the fuel lines. Go blow. Drop the pumps. Convoy is not many miles away. There should be good hunting in the morning. But the cost in human life. Human life is the cheapest commodity in the world. I can't even consider it. The fuel line does not reach. Permission to move in closer, Herr Kapitän. Permission granted. You may start your motor. Moving in closer to the boy. The fuel lines must be short.
captain. They've taken over the ship. That's impossible. There's only one of them. But they're captain. Go get him. Fosma. Not for anything in the world. I'm not going. All right. You may go. All right, Evans. She's coming up. Take the canoe and go ashore. Not without you. Doc, you take it. Take her with you. No, Jerry. You better take her. I'll stay here and hold them off. We'll all go. What, and play right into their hands? Why, as soon as we clear the decks, they'd swarm up here and machine gun us. Then we'll swim for it. There's less target that way. You go toward the beach and we'll swim toward the rocks. Come on. Good luck, Doc. Good luck to both of you. Everything's in order. We'll be shoving off. Good luck to both of you. You're doing a great job getting penicillin. You've done a great job yourself, Commander. The way you've cleared out this area of the South Pacific. I don't think we'll have any more trouble. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks again. Right. Uh, Jerry, uh, haven't you forgotten something? Oh, yeah. As long as uh, Pat and I are going to be marooned on the island, why, I think it might be a good idea if you could marry us. <laughs> why, yes. Yes, that's part of my duties as well as anything else. If you'll just step inside, 